Those three words you see on the screen are very important to the channel. Yes, a like, comment, subscribe helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So everybody that's already subscribed, thank you very much. But if you haven't, maybe today you'll consider subscribing if you enjoy, if you enjoy this video. And this video is Dr. Dangerous, Secrets of the Temple of Zoltron. Also, it's such a long name. Oh my God, I can't believe how long it is. So this is a new release on the Amiga. It's available from itch.io. The link will be in the ticker that's on the bottom of the screen. And it will also be in the video description. We're immediately starting this game with some interesting background music, jungle music with some drummers and stuff like this. But look at the screen. It's got a whole lot of science stuff on it. It literally boots into this. I'm loading this effectively off an Amiga ADF using a Mr. FPG to recreate the system and we're going to start the game so if you look at the ticker or indeed you go to the itch.io page you are going to have one of the longest i mean the longest stories ever for a game but all we need to know is that things are broken we got to fix things our guns have not too many bullets i believe and that's probably about it so let's fire to start this security has been switched on press fire and we are falling all the way down, 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 deeper and down as it loads in from the floppy drive. I don't know how big the levels are in this game. You know, we will see how big they are, I guess, by the time, you know, we get all the way through them. And there we go. Nothing is moving. Nothing is attacking us. But I see two skeletons, a computer. At the top, we've got battery. We've got our life. And we've got a zapper. All right, so let's jump up and grab that. There you go. All right. Keep an eye on your ammunition, press fire. All right, so the monsters at this stage don't move. I shot one of them, which is fine. Um, that's okay. Oh, that's a platform, okay. So find nine batteries for the exit. Okay, so this is the mission. We've got to find nine batteries. We are on empty at the moment, I guess. I thought that was actually full, but no, that must be empty, all right. There we go. You get a little line, the little slashes fill out as we collect a battery. Alright, find the right button for the security doors. Well, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to open the door below us. So I guess that means we go left. And look at this guy. He looks in a different direction where you walk. Alright, okay. Can't get through there. Can we jump? Nope. Now we can jump. Alright, learning, learning, learning. So, I'm looking here. Oh, I missed. I'm looking here and I'm seeing... A gun come on ah tricky tricky I'm seeing a gun and I'm seeing a battery there we go two batteries so this reminds me a little bit of Rick Dangerous three batteries level code for level one is seven through five okay so on the title screen there was a code um so that must be it. you will find a code in each level press fire you get one extra life for every code you find in the game so there all right so i'm not going to write them down because i can refer to the video but you know what um yeah old games of old you know they didn't have safe states at all points so that's how you progress so this really takes us back a modern game where you've got a code um to progress right big jump Oh. oh, we die so easy. I missed that jump and I die. All right, so, okay, the level resets. All right, keep an eye on your ammunition. We're gonna shoot you first this time. And when, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be frustrating, one mistake. And yeah, yeah, you yeah, screw yourself. All right, nine batteries. So, what I wanna do is see whether we get an extra life oh come on right so on the jumping you're pushing up on the joystick and you know that used to work years ago but now we're used to double buttons so mistakes happen mistakes happen and you know it's not as fluid as you would think all right so essentially we have four lives to start off with because we can go and repeat what we're doing here when we're dead so now we will it do it again no it won't all right, we've now got to deal with this flying monstrosity. And there, oh, there's two batteries there, isn't there? Oh, the f Okay. Jumping is probably going to get upsetting soon. Can I jump past these guys? No, I need more ammunition. Yeah. Okay, it would have... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this progress. 
Okay, that does nothing. All right, so we've got a couple of batteries. It is a bit annoying when these computers give you the same message. It, it would be kind of cool if it remembered that it said it, so it didn't have to keep saying the same thing. All right. Got the extra life. So we had a slight tickle in my throat, there was a slight cough. All right. All right, I'm not gonna try and save the ammo anymore. We're gonna just kill this guy. If I'd missed, that would've been really bloody upsetting. All right. I'm all, I've got the philosophy of this. If you can get past the enemies by somehow bypassing them um, without wasting your ammo, that's what you wanna be doing. But this door is now open. I'm waiting for the spikes to go down. I don't have confidence that I could jump inside without how that was going. All right. Up here, grab that. So, we need two more batteries to exit the level. We will get shot. That's it, right, we've done all we need to do. Is this level complete? Where, oh, there's the exit. I think there's the exit to the right. There we go, sector cleared. Zappa has been reset, press fire, load the next section. All right, so we'll see what we have now. Unfortunately, it says in the instructions as well, it resets all your bullets and everything else like that. So, you know, th this is gonna be a hard game, I suspect. All right, we need to somehow open that. Pass that button, so we've got to shoot him because that's the only thing we can do. I'm looking at that pit below thinking, you know, that, that could be a bad one to fall in. Right, grab that. No, 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 no. Oh, I probably could have jumped him and I probably wasted that. Hey ho, it is what it is. Come on, can I get up there? No, I can't. Oh, I need to jump you. Up there. That thing there looks like the Eagle belongs from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, and bollocks. I missed that platform. Oh, my. For freak's sake. Right, all the way past you guys. Come on. No, I need to shoot you because I want to. I want to land where I want to land. Right, grab that, push that. Up here, get a gun. All right, we have saved a bullet, so that was probably clever. Good lord, this game, this game may be the death of me, literally. I love the big clunky swipes, uh, sprites though, and I believe when it loads in that this was created on the Scorpion engine. That may mean a lot more to some of you than what it does to me. All I know is it's some kind of game designer platform, I believe. Um, how to use it, what you do with it, apart from make games, I don't know. I don't know whether it's easy, hard, or anything like that. But this this looks a really good game. You know, in terms of presentation, everything. Playability, you know, we, 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 we'll, we'll see how much frustration it gives me before I get to the end of the video. But I say it looks really pretty. It does look really pretty. There we go, skills avoiding things. Yes, we did it. Ah, oh, right, okay, we've probably got to kill you. Okay, that should open up that one. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we've got a zapper. 
So this is all about progression. Scores don't seem to matter because there is no score um, for this. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Go past you. Now, 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 now. I think I should probably shoot you. Grab that. Grab that. And there's one more to get. There is one. And that door, that is the exit door there. All right, so there's one more to get. But I haven't seen. I haven't seen the computer. Oh, there it is. There's the computer. I was going to say, I haven't seen the computer with the level code. So there you go, four, eight, six. And those are even numbers. So you can even learn things at the Gentleman's Pixel Club. All right, okay, through here. Section clear, or sector clear even. I don't know how big this game is, I truly, truly don't know. Um, it's obviously on the Mr. FPJ loading in off disk image, so to speak. Jump, run, 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 stop. Run, run, stop. Oh, 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 ho, ho. I know I can't jump in because of the height there, and also it gave away a gun at that point, so yeah, that's a kind of clue. I can't jump that skeleton, so he's got to be shot. Alright, four more to get. This is a little a little romp, actually. I, I'm enjoying this. It's hard, but, but I, I am enjoying this. Probably because I'm making some, some progression. Oh, I want to be careful. Wanna be, we need to time this better. So we can clear the guy. And then get past the spikes. And not have him come and touch us. Okay, that was probably a bit closer than what I would have liked. But hey, that's alright. Grab that, right, two more batteries to go. Now we know the zapper clear, oh for f I missed the platform. We know the zapper clears at the end of the level. I can't believe I died there. I think I only had one or two more to get. So we know the zapper clears, so we might as well use them is what I was gonna say. Uh, but we didn't get to that point because no, I screwed it up. Okay, we've just learnt that if your head is slightly above the uh, ladder like that, he doesn't. There's, there's no clash, and you don't die. All right, so jump on there, jump on there. Off, oh, I fell off. I did let go of the joystick. gone we die so quick all right so now can I remember what that code was I think it was 864 oh no wrong code all right okay there's prime that so it was even numbers we know that All right, let's try. There, we're, 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 we're going to brute force this, so let's do 846. Or was it 862? Oh, balls, utter balls. All right, start game. So we're gonna play this a little bit quickly now um, and try and get through this because we know what we've got to do. As long as we don't dick about with the jump button too much and get that wrong, we will be absolutely fine. This game, by the way, costs nothing. You know, you can give a donation as well, but this costs nothing, which makes it great value for money. All right, here we go. 
right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Empty battery, three lives and a zapper. Touch the computer, yes, yeah, we know that. Shoot you. Go up here, oh damn, miss. Okay, this is how it's gonna be. We'll be even more careful. Jump, get the battery. Okay, get that battery. Look at that, there's a ladder there that you can't get to. Get another message, yes, 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 we know that. If I missed that, I would have been so upset. Oh, come on. Right, four more batteries to go. 735. Well, we, 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 we won't put the 735 in start at the beginning level. Why would we do that? Right, okay, here we go. Here we go. All the way past these guys. Three more batteries left to get. Oh, you twat. Oh, I can't believe I missed him. And I promise that wasn't deliberate. But that's okay. We made it. Sects are clear. Zapper has been reset. Yes, load the next section. Right, this will be the last playthrough, by the way. Um, I want to see how far we can get with this. And it's hard, it's actually a, a, a really simple puzzle game, but not the easiest of puzzle games. And I've just realized I've shot something when I probably shouldn't have shot it. Oh, balls. So at the moment, you have got the story of the game scrolled in along the bottom, and my my my, it is a very very long story. You know, I think this game is going to be a lot bigger than what it actually looks here. Precision jumping, that's all what it is. Alright, okay, over here. So, three more batteries to get. Can we do it? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way, I think. run past you okay so oh we've got two zappers right he's gone no 486 ha all right I thought it started with an 8 but no 486 486 and um, if we need to remember that, let's just remember it is neighbor of 487 so if we remember the phrase neighbor of 487 then 486 will be the code that we do and unless we do 488 which is going to be wrong yeah think of long-winded ways to remember small things all right okay so we've got two batteries you're gone and you're gone all right okay here we go four lives as we go into the next sector come on come on, come on. spikes everywhere I 
thought he wasn't gonna jump, I thought I didn't have proper control of him. <laughs> Alright, we know we gotta shoot you. Oh no! Oh balls! Your shot. Thank God there was a gun there. Oh, balls, balls, balls. Ed balls. Oh, Tells are curling with frustration here. done right I think this time you would think with the graphics um, and the, the sprites being so chunky some of this pixel perfect or not pixel perfect but a jumping stuff would, would be a bit easier but it's, it's ridiculously hard through 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 my oh, stupidity all right last life Come on, I want to get to the next level. Right down here. Is that it? I think that's it. You know what? Let's see whether we remember the code because we, we, we've got to, we've got to see the next level. Four, eight, six. And how did I know that? I remembered, you know, the neighbor of 487. So yes, password correct. That's how you remember things. All right. Load, load, load. I lost some bearings for a minute. Oh, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> and I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. It's like, where am I? Is this the same? Of course it's the same. Cool. And by the same, actually no, it's not the same. No wonder I lost my bearings. No, this is the earlier level. This is the earlier level. Of course, we, oh, we, we don't have the code for the other one. All right, this is the last playthrough, the absolute last playthrough. Has this all gone wrong? Oh, right, okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we'll get it right this time, or we'll die. All right, jump. Up there. Right, he's gone, push that button. I think shooting it actually pushes it for you, because the bullet seems to travel through. Right, past those. This is the one that we jump. Okay, we jump this guy as well. And we go up. Shoot him. Get that gun, push that button. All right, take the long way round. Oh. All right, so three more batteries to get. 
We have to kill the one at the bottom. And we got a zapper for this one here as well. And he's gone. This is where we learn the code. We got an extra life. And how do we remember codes? We think of easy things to be doing. Right, and there we go, we're through. Right, and now this is the level we wanted to be playing when we put in the code, but of course, we went back to the level before. The music, the music is really good here. The music is really, really good. The graphics are good, and I think this hangs together really, really well. I pressed fire, I didn't have anything. Oh, I'm such a twat. I pushed fire, and of course, no zapper. And why do we have no zapper? Because we start the new level. Yes, when you're at the right height, it hits that button. We just saw it do that. You know, this is like driving a car. You've only got to do one thing at a time. But you know, oh, I, I screw these up. Yeah, by one thing at a time. Jump at the right time, fire at the right time. But no, I, I'm in a habit of screwing this up a fair bit. Right. That could be a mistake there. I just didn't want the stress of that skeleton. That's open. Right, two more to get. Right, I'm just going to walk off the end of that. That skeleton goes for a long way, doesn't he? Maybe we can jump that. We follow him back. Oh, there's two. All right, unexpected skeletons. Right, we need to narrow that down to one. Now we're going to see whether the zapper will go through two skeletons here. Because we're going to have to follow one back. Too late, I blew it, I blew it, I blew it. Right, let's get a code. Not that we need it. Okay, 291. Right, the door has opened, the door has opened. Right, lovely, lovely. Sector clear. Zap has been reset. So remember, for when we start a level, we have no zaps. Right, I know that I can't really probably navigate that too easy. So we're gonna we're gonna go this way. I run onto that platform. Ah, no, I don't. I reckon it's that bloody button up there. There's a button there. See on the top left. I thought I could jump that guy and um, kill the, the, the higher up one. All right. I've only got Ooh, out of the way, out of the way. All right, 
Focus. God, this is a nightmare temple, isn't it? If you're exploring and you found yourself here, it'd be oh holy hell. There we go, that's how you do it. And see if it hits the button now, let's see. There you are. Alright, okay, so that would have probably opened up the the door on the other side of the skeleton. Is there a door? No, I mean above the skeleton. Look, you see there's the energy, the door above the skeleton. I knew I saw a door. Oh for frigs. Right, last life. I, I tried to jump and I missed. You know what? Um, yeah, I made a bit of a pig's ear up on this. On the Mr. FPGA, you can redefine buttons. So I could probably set up another button, replace the button for the jump. But hey ho, it is what it is. I have had a lot of fun playing this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a good fun video. It's been a good solid thing. And this Amiga game here is great. It's incredible we're seeing games of this quality come out this late in the Amiga's life. In the Amiga, I mean, the Amiga is basically almost dead and buried in terms of, you know, <laughs> what it used to be. But holy hell, this is a lovely, brilliant title. All of you stay safe. All of you take care. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Would you like to play again?